A simple soap for a simple kind of man. Can she soap it? I split the batter into three equal parts and I use my spatula to give the fragrance oil something to follow into the soap. This is a trick that I learned from watching Tree Marie soap work videos. I really could have added the fragrance before the lye solution since it behaves so well. It's not imperative that I wait and add it to each layer just as I'm ready to pour because the fragrance does not make the batter move quicker. When the batter accelerated for this batch, it's because of the type of coconut milk that I used. Since this coconut milk does accelerate trace, it may have been better to premix my colors, but it's not mandatory either. Micas, like I used here, typically blend easily into soap, and I didn't use oxides, which would need to be premixed. I used my spatula to break the fall of the soap batter. The bottom layer had already set up a good bit because of the coconut milk, but I wanted fairly straight layers for my hanger swirl. I could risk ending up with a drop swirl or pointy layers if I didn't break the fall with a spatula, and both drop swirls and pointy layers are beautiful, but neither are what I wanted to achieve here.
This is a gear tie that I bent into the length of my mold to use as a hanger tool. I pushed the gear tie all the way to the bottom of the mold, moved it over a little, and brought it all the way out of the soap. Then I repeated this process to get a little bit of a V-shaped swirl in the soap. Then I textured the top with a spoon. I don't typically spray the tops of my soap with alcohol or cover them, but I do seep pop them. I preheated the oven to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, turned the oven off, and put the soap into the oven. I then turned the oven light on and left the soap in it overnight. It was easy to unmold and cut within 12 to 18 hours.